1989, I photographed parts of Leicester and have come back in 2024, 35 years later, to see how things have changed. I will try and highlight some interesting features and provide a bit of history. Please stay to the end for all the detail. There has been a lot of change. I hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching Eclectic Experience, Change Seen Through Images. This is the first of three then and now videos I'll make on Leicester. The pictures I took in 1989 are from all over the city, so I've tried to group them together. In this video, we'll focus on the more central area. In the next, roughly around the castle and De Montfort University, and the third, roughly around the railway station, and going out as far as Welford Road, including the old cattle market. These are the areas I will cover in this video. For reference, this is where the clock tower is. The areas covered are St. Martin's, around the High Street, Town Hall, Guild Hall area, around Causeway Lane, and the interestingly named Butt Close Lane, and then also Albion Street. So let's start with St. Martin's. This is a view from St. Martin's in 1989, looking down Lowesby Lane. And then again in 2024. The shops have changed, but the buildings and shop fronts are remarkably similar. If we then turn round and look onto St. Martin's itself, there is this very grand building that was the National Westminster Bank. The building is fairly similar today, though without the bank signage. There's also a new door, and obviously the road was being relayed when I took this picture in 2024. On the 1989 photo, if we look to the right, we can see the Bank of Ireland in the building opposite. This is the scene now where we can clearly see the Gothic design of this quite impressive 1870s building. This is obviously next to the circa 1900 old National Westminster Bank. Moving on to the High Street area. This is the view in 1989 of the High Street looking from the clock tower. If we move to 2024, we can now see Cafe Nero, which incidentally occupies a Grade 2 listed Victorian shop building. But if we come back a bit and go back to 1989, we can see there used to be a road on the right. The road has gone and we can now see a link building between the two old buildings where the road once was. It's now all fully pedestrianised. In the city centre on the high street, there is an ornate Art Nouveau building from the early 20th century, the Coronation Buildings. It is still there in 2024, though harder to see because of all the trees that are now there. The other main changes are all the shop fronts have changed and there are no parked cars anymore with the bulk of the street having been pedestrianised. This is the building next door. The wording in the stonework at the top says it is the commercial union buildings. Now let's move to 2024. This is Leicester Town Hall. It is a grade two star listed building built in the 1870s. Seen here on the map. This is the picture I took in 1989. And apart from the cars and an overhead line, when we look at the picture today, it is pretty much the same. However, I then turned and took this picture of the TSB bank. Again, not much change. However, the building next door is now gone and is a way through to the market area. The next area is around the Guild Hall. And this building is amazing. It's a grade one listed building dating from around 1390. Unbelievably old. It's unlikely to have changed, so I thought. However, looking at it more closely, 
the exposed wood is now more natural gray rather than black. And what I do like though, is if you look in the background, you can see the holiday inside has changed and now has an updated logo. Not surprising between 1989 and 2024. These are some other nearby then and now photos. The cathedral, which was just finishing a refurbishment in 2024, is quite clear in all of these pictures. The next area is around Buckclose Lane and Causeway Lane. This is a very interesting wooden building that is really quite different to anything else. It is a wooden warehouse from approximately 1830. In 1989, there was a sign welcoming to the Churchgate sale room. And then this is the building in 2024. In 1989, I took this picture of the Unitarian Chapel or Great Meeting. Because it was so old, it was actually built in 1707. And then just moving around the corner, there was total change happening. This is a view of Causeway Lane and the construction in the distance of what was going to become the High Cross Shopping Centre. This is the view in 2024. The Unitarian Chapel, pretty much unchanged. Everything else has, apart from the post box, which gives a great reference point. The final area on this video is on Albion Street. Though it took me quite some time to work this out as the pictures didn't contain any street signs. So by walking the streets, I finally found it. This is the 1989 photo of a building containing Sparkle Enterprises. The business is no longer there and looking in 2024, it looks like the building has now been converted for residential use. Then across the road was another grand warehouse dating from the 1880s. Here it is in 1989 and again now. Notice what I think are the old council buildings in the background which have now been demolished and the U, Y-O-U, on the edge of the picture. This is actually from Young's cameras and looking in 2024 it is still here. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and click the alerts bell for future releases. More videos on Leicester then and now will be coming shortly. Thank you for watching Eclectic Experience. Change seen through images.